Hello folks and welcome. So this video was requested by a subscriber. And this has to do with custom keyboard shortcuts and then I'll also talk about standard keyboard shortcuts and functions. Again, this video was requested by a subscriber. This is on Linux Mint 21.2 XFCE desktop, XFCE desktop. So uh, I will say welcome folks. I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if need be. First tip of the day is Alt and F4 to close a window. Holding down the Alt, pressing F4. So let me talk about a couple of things today. We have a couple of things we can do. We can do searches, we can do point and click, and we can also assign keyboard shortcuts to open up these applications or programs. All right. I'll be talking about all of that today. So go find your keyboard. Uh, you can also open up your system settings or settings manager this way and uh, you're looking for keyboard application shortcuts. So let me drag this over here and make this a little bit larger for you. Again I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 if you need to uh, make some adjustments. Mm -hmm. So I will first talk about uh, the Alt and F3 and uh, that uh, is going to be probably your new friend if you haven't discovered that yet in the XFCE desktop for Mint for opening Apple applications. Or maybe not. You can still use the Mint menu. But uh, more importantly, before you get going, may I recommend a screenshot? And I'll talk about the screenshot tool toward the end of this video. But in either case, I'll talk about custom shortcuts and then some of the basic ones that you have. So what does Alt and F3 do? You've already heard me use Alt and F4. Well, Alt and F3 does this. It's the application finder, and it will find all your application, including web apps. If you don't know what a web app is, uh, this is how you can create web-based icons. I have lots of videos on my YouTube site. Usually you can do this in about a couple of 10, 15 seconds. This goes directly to Amazon in this case. But in either case, I'll continue. So you type in what you're looking for. So if you were looking for a calculator, type in calc. You can, at this point, because it's highlighted, is hint enter. It opens up the calculator program. You can use the conventional X in the corner, or you can also use Alt and F4 when you get done playing. So Alt and F3 it is, and type in CAL. I can also double click to open that. I'll use the conventional X this time. Alt and F3 again, type in Cal, and then I can click Launch. So as you can see, there are several ways you can do this. Alt and F3. You can also uh, click the Preferences, and you can select the icon size from Dinky to uh, Jumbo. In other words, very small to very large. Just seeing if you're paying attention. I'll use Large. All right, so that's application finder, Alt and F3. Very common thing that people discover and that is a nice tool. Do you need this open? Absolutely not. Alt and F3, you get the idea. Okay, so let's go back and find my keyboard shortcuts now that I closed this thing. Or should I first, now let me open this up first to give you the example. And then I'll talk about regular keyboard shortcuts. And I'll use a couple of examples for that. So um, let me go in here and again, just reiterate that you should probably make a screenshot before you start playing. And be very careful about remove. There's no undo when you hit this. So I have Thunar here, twice. All right, so that's my demo here. So Thunar is your file manager for this distribution. Okay, I can use the X in the corner. What's my other command? Alt and F4. So Thunar here has a Super E and an Alt, uh, sorry, Control Alt and F for two different commands for keyboards to open up Thunar, the file manager. So I'll demo the first one, Control Alt and F. Control Alt and F opens up that. And again, I can go full screen my way, or you can do it the old fashioned way. Resizing icons on the fly, you get the idea. And uh, more importantly, I can also close it and then I can use shortcuts like this one. Super E. What's a super key? So I'm using a standard tower computer today with a fairly regular keyboard, but it does have a start key on it. 
Start key is sometimes called a super key or Windows key. Some folks have them, some folks not so much. I have one that's called Start. I'm going to press it. Opens up my Mint menu. Press it again, close. This one says Super and E. That means holding it down, the Start key or Super key, and hitting E as an echo. So that means that that opened and this opened at the same time. Alt and F4 on this one. All right, so that's two shortcuts for the same program or application. Now, before I get into custom applications or how to add extras, let me talk about some basic functions first. And I'll start with LibreOffice Writer to give you the first example. Just uh, type in a couple of words. It doesn't matter if they're misspelled or even uppercase or lowercase. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about cut and paste and uh, stuff like that using keyboard shortcuts. Some of you folks already know this. But again, I don't know what the target audience is. And some folks are just learning how to do this. Keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to highlight this whole line. And instead of using my mouse, I'm going to use Control C as in Charlie. And then I'm going to click over here for a second and a couple of lines down, hit Control V. All I did was copy and paste that. Then I'm going to highlight this and use Control X. That's to cut and click over here and do a Control V to paste. So these are very basic commands. Control X, Control C, Control V. And Control A is another one that's very common also with Microsoft Windows. If you're a dual booter or dual user, you'll find that's very common. You'll also see some other ones in here. But I'm going to demo some of those using this in a different way. Right click, create empty document. I'm going to name the first one A because I can. And I'll create a couple more. Call this one B because I can. And one more C. So I have three documents. So I'm going to use Control A to highlight all of them at the same time. All right, so I can also hold down the Control key and click the B to deselect and leave the A and the C highlighted and then use Control C to copy. I'm going to right click and create a folder. I'll call it junk. I'm just going to demo this. I'm going to open this up. I am going to uh, resize the window if you don't mind a little bit here but I'm going to click in here once and hit Control V and it only copied the A and the C file. Okay, because that's what I told it to do. I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to click over here. I'll minimize this if you want. And I'm going to hit Control A. Again, this time Control C. It's going to copy all of these files, including the folder. And then I'm going to paste it in here. Or I can also use Control V. And then I'll resize this on the fly. So I copied the A, B, and C files and the actual junk folder inside of his own folder. Okay, and I can also click in here, hold down the control key, click, and hit delete just to delete those two if I wanted to. I can also drag a box and hit delete. But that's just demoing some of the copy and paste stuff. I could also take that and hit X. That would be cut. Open this up again and hit control V, and I just removed it from the main desktop into junk folder. Then I can also drag and drop this. That's also doing the same thing. I'm cutting and moving or moving the file from one thing to the other. All right. So that, as you can see, there's lots of different options you can do with keyboard shortcuts. Very common ones are control P for print. Also for quitting is control Q or alt F4 is another one. So now that I type some stuff, it'll complain if I try to close this document. Alt and F4. I get the complaint box. Do you want to save or not? I can also use Control Q. Do you want to save or not? It's the same dialog box. Don't save. Let me open up a web browser. Hopefully you've seen some of my videos how to resize the innards by using your Control key and a combination of your computer mouse. But that's not why I brought you in here. Hamburger menu, Control T for new tab, Control N for new window. Combinations of different things. New private window. Control Shift and P. Control P for print, just like in the documents. And then also downstairs we have the Control Q. 
And of course you can zoom the old fashioned way too. So let me demo the control Q. It has a complaint box because that's checked. However, if I use Alt F4, it'll shut this thing down. A couple of different tips on keyboards. Now let's talk about custom applications, uh, actually custom shortcuts to run applications. Let me use Pix as my first example. I'm gonna make a shortcut for it. So I'm gonna do an add and uh, you'll probably see that's, uh, that's the spelling Pix. So let's put that in there and hit OK. Now I need to decide what key combinations I'm going to use. Uh, I will pick Alt and B. Let me try that one. So press keys, Alt and B it is, and let's press Alt and B for picks. Alt and B produces a failure. And the reason for that, I want you to notice that everything in this menu is lowercase letters. That's your first clue. Again, do a screenshot before you start doing any of this stuff. All right, so I have a couple of choices. I could fix this by editing, or I could also remove and start again. So I'm going to edit, and I will try to say to see if this is actually the correct way of doing it, and hit OK. It will still be Alt B. It's going to ask for another shortcut. I'm just using Alt B, it's just made up shortcut. You can put whatever shortcuts you want. Alt B is mine. And instead of keeping the uppercase picks, I'm using lowercase picks. And let's try that. So again, it's gonna be Alt and B. That opens that up and that works. Now let's pick another one. And this one will throw you for a loop. So calculator. Add. It's lowercase, right? That should work. That's uppercase, but more importantly, it looks like it's spelled OK. So I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to pick a new, new shortcut. Let's do, uh, how about Alt and N? Let's try that one. Let's try Alt and N. I produced a failure. And I got it spelled with a lowercase letter, so what's wrong with this thing? Well, let's do the edit and find out or I could do a remove and start all over again. So in general, when you don't know how the, the application is spelled, may I suggest using this right here. Click that. You can either use a control F to go find the application or just start typing. It goes to USR bin folder. These are all your applications. Okay. So I'm gonna type in, what are we looking for? We are looking for calculator, C-A-L. Okay, that's, we're still not good enough because there's too many selections in here. Calc, that may work, but it's not. U, and I come up with gnome-calculator. So I'm gonna hit open. I'm gonna leave it the way it is and still use control I'm sorry, Alt and N for my shortcut. Alt and N it is. I'm going to use the new because this one didn't work. And we're going to use the Alt and N for testing. Alt and N. Always test your stuff. That worked. That worked. X in the corner, Alt or F4. Now, you notice that one worked okay, and I didn't look for it, but I could have. So I'm going to also use Library Office, I think, as my next example. This one here will have the whole suite. In other words, it'll include the writer and the spreadsheet and all that good stuff. So Library Office is spelled with an uppercase L and uh, uppercase O. But we know that uppercase letters, for the most part, didn't work. So how about LibreOffice? I know that's misspelled. So we're going to uh, use uh, Control-L as my example. And Control-L will produce a failure because I misspelled it. All right. So in that case, I'm going to click that and just show you how to, you can correct stuff. So edit. Go in here and just type in Libre. You'll see it right here. So hit open. 
still use the same, I'm gonna still use the same, or I could use another shortcut, Control L it is. So Control L it is, I'm gonna use the new one, and Control L, and it opens up LibreOffice. Okay, now, if you don't like this, then you can always edit that. However, since I already have the name of it properly, I could highlight the whole thing. This is for your adventuresome folks. Hit Control and X to cut that word, and then hit the back arrow key to get rid of the U USR bin. And then hit Control V to paste that word back in there. Or you can just hand type it. So Control L, I'm still gonna use the same. Yes, I'm gonna reassign it to LibreOffice from U USR bin office, LibreOffice. And again, it's the same shortcut. This time it's Control L. And do I need this box open to do this with? Absolutely not, it's just the tool. So Control L will do this from now on. Now I got writer, spreadsheet, and the rest of the stuff. All right, so far so good. Let me get rid of these, these are just demo files. I'm just drawing a box around that and hitting delete. So start key, key, and enter, and application shortcuts, and resizing. Now, I'm going to resize this where I can see some blank lines down below. And the reason for that, as I told you when I opened this up, now that you know how to make shortcuts or your own keyboard shortcuts, um, it's time for making backups or at least something for you to have later. So uh, a lot of favorite people use XFCE desktops on really old computers with those really old hard drives. And you never know when they give up the ghost, in other words, die. So wouldn't it be a good idea in case you don't have a backup tool to at least have a copy of this? This way you can tell what kind of shortcuts you have assigned to what applications. Again, I told you the good, good way of doing this is to make a screenshot before you start and then when you get done. So how do you open up and uh, do either copy this over uh, to a printer or make a screenshot? Well, let's start with the screenshot tool. Start with Alt and F3. Then type in SC for the screenshot tool. Hit enter, open that up and do an active window. You can leave this right on top. It, does, it never takes a picture of itself. If you do entire screen, it usually makes for a bigger file. Active screen is good enough. Snap it and save it somewhere. I'm gonna put mine on my desktop. Save to desktop. Okay, now I'm gonna close this and grab a hold of that screenshot. It's a very small file. It will fit on any USB stick. So save the thing in the PNG format. That's how it's defaulted. And more importantly, I can tell my shortcuts to what applications that it opens. So I did the custom LibreOffice, the PIX, and the calculator. So what's this good for? Well, Control P, I can print. I can also just save this file. Stick it on my, you probably don't wanna stick it on your local drive if it's uh, questionable, but maybe you can put it on your spare hard drive or USB stick. Or let's give you another scenario. Maybe you're setting up another Linux Mint 21.2 XFCE desktop and you wanted to duplicate your shortcuts to the application on that system. Well, that would be a good thing. You either bring in the file or you do a print of this. And that way you can uh, sign the same shortcuts to the same applications. Thank you for watching.